What's up everyone, it's Wilson and in this video I want to go over what the ATR is and uh, why it's important when you're doing your stock research to look at the ATR as well. This is one thing that I've never really looked at and now I start to look at a lot more when choosing to take a position in a stock. I find it fairly important. So basically what the ATR is, is uh, as you can see right here I'm looking at Nokia which was a position that I was swinging in and um, I didn't make a lot of profit off of it. I still made a little bit of profit. I think it was like 100 bucks. Uh, but I got in position with Nokia and uh, it wasn't really the best choice. And the reason why the profit was so low is because I didn't do my full research. And uh, trading is not easy. You know, you have to do a lot of research. You know, for example, we're, we're all, uh, this is finviz.com. We're always looking at, you know, floats, the relative volume. The upgrades, the downgrades, you know, what, what are the news out? Does it affect the stock movement? And uh, one of the things that uh, I always tend to look at now is the ATR, which stands for the average true range. Uh, there's multiple ways you can find the ATR. Finviz is probably my go-to solution. You know, I just go to Finviz, type in the ticker right here, like Nokia, and then I just go look at the ATR right here on the right. Uh, the... The ATR stands for the average true range and basically what it does is that it takes like the last 14 days of how this stock was trading. It takes the highs and the lows and then it comes up with a number to tell you how, uh, what's the average movement in the price range. So I don't like to get in stocks with uh, high floats as I mentioned before because that's no movement, right? And usually when there's high floats like billions like, like Nokia, um, unless there's some really good news like the merger deal um, with Sprint or something like that, uh, the ATR ends up really low as well. So uh, the problem with a low ATR is that you use your capital. Remember, when we're trading with small accounts or, or even mid-sized accounts, we put a lot of capital into a stock at risk, right? So when you're putting your, your money into it, you want the stock to move at a quicker rate so that you can clock in your profits or you can cut your losses quickly and then have your funds and move on to the next stop. Uh, to, to the next investment. So uh, if the RTA is low, I mean the ATR is low, like Nokia right here, is it only moves on an average of nine cents, right? So the problem with this is that this stock right here is trading roughly at six dollars. Um, let's say you buy a uh, hundred shares, that's six hundred bucks. You know, let's say you you put a little bit more and you do two hundred shares at one thousand two hundred. That's one thousand two hundred you have. In investment so you can't use that capital and then even after you sell it you have to wait the settlement time like three days for you to get the funds in order to invest in other growing stocks that are growing a lot quicker so uh, unless you're a more like a growth investor and you believe in the stock you believe it's a long-term investment uh, as traders we don't want that and the problem with that is that with a nine cent ATR that means it only goes up and down on average nine cents so at 200 shares <clears throat> With the example that I gave, let's say you own 200 shares, if it's moving at like 9 or 10 cents up and down, even a 10 cent gain is not going to profit you that much, right? It's not even going to be 100 bucks. Whereas we want a stock that jumps up by like a dollar, two dollar. That way 200 shares will get you 200 bucks in profit. And and every day, you know, uh, we have to take full advantage of how the market moves. So the ATR is relatively important. Like I said, the best way to do it is to go to Finviz and type in a stock. You know, for example, uh, I was trading AMD. Uh, I made some pretty decent money on it. Uh, I swung it, and uh, I mean, it's always good to look at the charts, see it. And the reason why, I mean, I'm not going to talk too much about why I got into AMD, but um, I'll, I'll cover that in my uh, week recap video later on when I share my trades but uh, basically because I saw I saw the same trend so when you see trends like this up and down up and down in the technical indicators that means that it is a potential good swing right and that's why they got into the lows at, at 1250 and then uh, today there was a massive jump because of the news and uh, I, I got out and I took my profits but anyway back to ATR if you look at the average true range for this one this is about roughly 46 cents so that means that this stock moves a lot quicker than Nokia so if I was in position for Nokia, let's say a bigger position at like three or four grand, I have three or four grand held up. Whereas with this one, if I have three or four grand held up, I know that within the next couple of days, uh, all the trading days, the, it's going to go up and down a lot more. Of course, you still have to consider the average volume, the relative volume, and the amount of floats is out there for, for how it moves. But everything coordinates with each other, and it's super important that you do look at the ATR, right? So best way, go to Finviz, type it in. Uh, the other way I do it is that I have my thinker swim open. Oh, you see, I'm still watching AMD. 
but uh, down here in this bottom section right here is the ATR and uh, right here it shows exactly how the ATR is moving um, uh, if you want to add it all you have to do is go to studies you go edit studies and you type in ATR and then uh, you just pretty much you know add it to whichever slot you want you can have it overlap the price or whatever you like I like it on the lower bottom um, this is a really great way to figure out how fast the movement is so this is a really good uh, indicator to look at it and uh, for especially for smaller accounts where you put a lot like your whole entire accounts uh, of capital in a couple trades you want the stock to move so I uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you like what you're watching uh, please subscribe and I'll be making more videos for you guys give it a thumbs up you can always follow me on Twitter at it's Wilson 8 for the latest stock tweets